I'm back today with another video and I'm so freaking excited for today's video because we're gonna be learning about schools and I don't just mean any schools okay I mean haunted creepy schools now we all know schools are amazing places where we get to make friends we get to make memories we get to learn but we also need to realize that schools are buildings with histories your school can be haunted just like your house can be haunted think about it there are hundreds if not thousands of people walking in and out out of schools on a daily basis there is bound to be some negative energy and that's exactly what we're gonna be learning about today before we get started I need to make sure that you guys are here and you're paying attention so make sure to comment down below if you're here make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get into this video for today's video I picked out four different schools with four different video proof evidence that they are haunted okay I want to show you the paranormal activity that can take place in schools because sometimes it's a lot different than it would be in a house so let's get into our first example the first school we're gonna be talking about is located in Cork Ireland and it goes by the name of Deer Park CBS Deer Park CBS was built all the way back in 1828 so it is very very old now the principal of the school actually decided to install motion activated security cameras all over the school because the staff said they felt very off a lot of the teachers that worked there admitted that they felt like they were being watched they felt like there was a presence around them even when they were alone not only that but they said that they actually heard sounds all over the school like if they were working in their classroom they would be hearing sounds in the hallway even though no one was there so upon installing these cameras they actually ended up catching something one night and it is probably the most insane evidence of paranormal activity I have ever seen it is just so crystal clear it is just so perfect it is impossible to explain so before I actually tell you even even more about this story that makes it even creepier. Let's see the video. Okay, so you can see that door slam closed. I'm really impressed by the quality of this. That is violent. Did you guys see that? That is insane. That is honestly the most terrifying video I have ever seen. I have never seen such a violent, aggressive spirit before. I mean, whoever is doing this is angry. They are making things fly. I mean, that is absolutely insane. It's almost hard to believe. But listen, the quality of this video is amazing. Usually security footage is really grainy and blurry. This is top notch. I mean, we can obviously see that there is no one there, but I promise you this video is actually not what makes this story so terrifying. I actually have a quote from the principal of this school himself, and I'm going to read it to you right now. He said, and I quote, we do feel there is something strange going on because people do get from time to time a real chill in the air when they go past that area. So the principal of the school himself says that there is something with that specific area of the school that is just just insanely creepy. They don't know why it's that specific area. I don't know if something happened in this specific hallway, but either way, people do seem to say that it's generally just in that one area. And the principal himself actually also said that sometimes teachers bring their pets into the school and oftentimes pets do not want to walk through that hallway. They actually refuse, which leads us to think that even the pets feel some sort of negative energy coming from that area. Another 
scary thing and in my opinion probably the scariest thing of all about this video is the fact that no other cameras were activated that night which means there was no movement no one came in no one came out it only happened in this specific area which in itself proves that it wasn't a person who did it it wasn't a prank it wasn't anything like that this is actual evidence of paranormal activity now listen all of this information is believable and insane but there is something that a lot of people are using to argue this whole thing turns out that this school is actually big on Halloween and every October 29th they have a huge huge party and they call it fear park so what people do is they go to the school they party they have fun and the whole concept is that there's spirits and ghosts and monsters lurking around every corner of the school and many people say that this video was actually a marketing strategy to get more people to come to the school because obviously it's gonna make them think that it's actually haunted and who doesn't want to party with ghosts on Halloween I mean I know I would some people say it's all just a setup it's all just a big way to make people think it's haunted so they would come on Halloween you guys let me know what you think down below but in my opinion I don't know I mean it's quite believable but also the whole marketing thing makes a lot of sense. I'm not too sure. I still need to think about it Either way, it's really really freaking creepy. All right guys the next school We're gonna be talking about is called folk high school now every day at school a bunch of kids come in They leave a huge mess and they leave and someone has to clean up that mess at the end of every day And usually the person to clean up that mess is a janitor now a janitor at folk high school Went in for his shift and found his car down a very long hallway and he knew that he hadn't left it there and he felt very weird about it so he decided to check the security cameras upon checking the security cameras he noticed that it was moving on its own and he said no one else was there he said this is not fake he even said the cart is way too heavy to be moved with string so he promises this is a hundred percent real let's watch the video and see oh my god that cart is moving It is like moving very well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, why is it moving so smoothly? Oh my god, what the hell? That is a very powerful ghost if it's moving that cart that smoothly. We talked about this before. Ghosts usually aren't very, very powerful because most of them aren't angry. So they can maybe move a curtain a little bit or topple something over, but to actually move a heavy object like that, that must be a really angry ghost. Either that or maybe it's just a ghost that was maybe once a janitor at the school and just wants to relive his days. Now, no one has really debunked this video. The janitor the janitor says it's 100% real, it looks real to me, but it's very hard to believe. I mean, those carts, I mean, I never pushed one, but I assume they're very heavy. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think a ghost could move a cart that heavy? I'm not too sure. I don't know. I have to think about this one. All right, guys, this next school we're going to talk about is actually located in South Africa. It is called Heltmakar Private High School, and it is a private high school for kids to go to and learn. I'm not too aware of the history of this high school, but what I can say, I out of all of these examples, I do think this video is the scariest because it is, I don't even know, it's just so evident that there is somebody there, but at the same time, it's it's just also hard to believe. I don't know, you guys have to see it for yourself to even be able to understand because it's so complicated, but pretty much what happens is it's just footage of a high school at night, no one's supposed to be there. You see a mist at the end of the hallway and then that mist materializes into a very physical, like literally you can see it you can see a girl in a gown it literally looks like a person it doesn't even look like a ghost and it blows my mind i mean you guys have to see this so let's watch it and then we'll talk more about it i mean that is insane that is absolutely unbelievable Okay. 
Okay, so first of all, there's this mist that is filling up the room and then out of nowhere we see a full-blown girl just walk through the hallway and walk into the other room. This is so difficult for me to comprehend because it looks like a person. It doesn't look like a ghost. When I saw this, I didn't think, oh my god, that's a ghost. I think that is someone who broke into that school. I don't have an explanation for this video. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. I don't know if this is a ghost, to be honest. I think this is an actual person. I don't know if it's someone who broke into the school. I don't know if it's some sort of prank. I hope it's a prank. I've just never seen footage of a ghost or a spirit so visible like ever it's, it's just ridiculous to me it's hard to believe honestly if I was the principal of that school and I saw that footage my first instinct would be okay who's breaking into the school at night what kids are breaking in to hang out at the school it wouldn't be oh my god there's a ghost do you know what I mean like it's just it looks like a person it doesn't look like what I would assume a ghost would look like but then again ghosts are people so I don't know if I'm making any sense but I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say all right guys and the fourth and final example example is the football ghost. Ana Daniel was a mother of a cheerleader who went to Saimar High in Los Angeles. Ana was sitting on the bleachers and watching her daughter perform. She was doing her little cheerleading dance and her mom was obviously like, I want to record this. I want to have this to look back on. So she pulled out her camera and started recording. She was recording the cheerleading routine when she noticed amongst all the people, and there was a lot of people on this video, there is somebody running across the field and through the people standing. Quite literally through them. It's again really difficult to explain. It's a very short clip. Make sure to pay attention. Let's watch it. Do you guys see that? That is literally a transparent figure running right through the field, running through all those people. I did actually make a mistake though. She was not filming it with a camera. She was filming it with a phone. Now the reason that this is really important is because a physics teacher of the school watched the video and said there's no way this is real. It definitely has to be some sort of overlay from her past videos and it like recorded over the new video and it looks like a ghost. But then that doesn't make sense if she's using a phone. Or or at least I don't think that would happen to a phone. I mean, I've never heard of it happening to anyone's videos on their phone, but a lot of people actually fully believe this. A lot of people believe that it was someone who really loved football and they were coming back to enjoy the atmosphere of the game and the cheerleading, which is actually really sweet and is sort of a positive way to end off this video today. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. Class is now dismissed. Go have fun, go enjoy your Yourselves, go to school and don't be scared even though you probably should because clearly a lot of them are haunted so be smart and next time you're in the bathroom alone maybe think twice about if you're even alone after all I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye